Hi, this is Chuck Lavazzi. And Tina Farmer. With 88.1 KDHX in St. Louis. We're here at the Actors Theater in Louisville for the 38th Annual Humana Festival of New American Plays, where we have just seen a play entitled Brownsville Song, B-Side for Trey. I'm going to look up the name of the author while we're doing that. Uh, but I can give you a quick summary. It's a story about a young man, Trey, in uh, the Brownsville section of Brooklyn. He's shot in a purely accidental drive-by shooting, and the story goes on to show why this kid's story was not just another statistic. It, it shows what he was and who he was and the people around him. I think it's a very powerful piece of work. It was very powerful, emotionally connected. I love the way the layers of the stories built. Mm -hmm. um, we were revealed, each story was revealed slowly throughout the play, not spending a lot of time on exposition, but kind of letting it grow and get, you get the feel and the yeah. sense of what's going to happen right before it was confirmed. Um, I was emotionally into the story from the opening monologue from the grandmother's character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I have a piece of paper now that says this is written by Kinder Lee and directed by Meredith McDonough. By the way, really wonderful cast, very strong performers all the way through. Oh, there, there, yeah, there was not a weak link in this cast um, from the little girl who played little sister Divine yeah. through the grandmother. Uh, every character was really strong. Meryl, the mm -hmm. stepmother and mother, uh, a small role but very powerful and strong yeah. and impactful. Um, the actors did so much without speaking. There was a lot shown, even in the transitionary moments, you mm -hmm. saw a lot of who the character was. And yeah. the connection between uh, the actor who played Trey and his little sister Divine was, I mean, it was just, there was something really special going yeah. on there. Yeah, this is the, the fifth play we've seen so far in this series, and uh, one of the stronger ones. I'd put it right up there Absolutely. with our other favorite to date, which uh, is The Christians by Lucas yes. Haas. It's a tremendously powerful script, and so is this one. Uh, really uh, uh, an emotional sucker punch, I gotta Yeah, say. it was really, there was a real strong emotional connection. A few cliches here and there, mm -hmm. but for the most part, even the cliches did add something to the story. Yeah, so I really think a, a great script and a great performance. That's Brownville Song, B-Side for Trey by Ember Lee. And um, this is the last uh, video blog Tina and I will be doing together. Tina's heading back to St. Louis. I'll be seeing two more plays, and I'll be reporting on them uh, right here on my YouTube channel. So you see, we'll see you a little later. Uh, this is Chuck Lavazzi. And Tina Farmer. For 88.1 KDHX in St. Louis. See you later. Signing off from Louisville.